How's it going, YouTubers? Rosgrees DMC here. Now with a let's play of Toy Box Turbos for the PC. Now be asking yourself, what in the world is Toy Box Turbos? <clears throat> well, the game was developed by Codemasters, which you may remember, uh, they developed the Micro Machines franchise all throughout the uh, late 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s. With this game being a spiritual successor to that, which is almost exactly the same game for the modern era. And I suppose they probably just couldn't get the licensing for Micro Machines anymore, which is why now it's called Toy Box Turbos. Come to think of it, is Micro Machines even still around? Because they might not even be around anymore, as far as I'm aware. But then again, I don't know. What do I know? At any rate, I've been playing through the game a little bit, and I could definitely say it's worth it for the $15 price tag that they're charging on Steam. It's a very, very good game, so right now I just wanted to play through the most recent championship that I'm up to, which is the Service Sprint. Now we did start with the Public Transport Tear-Up, Off-Road Rush, then the Construction Cup, yeah, the Construction Cup, can't speak today, and now I'm going to be doing the Service Sprint. Now before I do that, I'm just going to show you some of the various cars that are here. As well as the various tracks. Which some of you may remember from Micro Machines year past. We'll just select this one. So we have, like, this is public transportation. So you have the cab, you have a taxi, a school bus, a London bus, as well as a hovercraft for whatever reason. But that wound up actually being a boss character. Oh god, I'm a little weird today. And then you also have Off-Road Rush. Now this one takes place in a school. The other one took place in a kitchen. This is a school. And for this, you have a 4x4, a tractor, a golf cart, a moon buggy, and then the monster truck. Very, very interesting vehicles. Definitely. Then the Construction Cup. I actually just completed this one. Uh, this seems like to take place in a children's toy box, and I really like the tracks in this one. Very cool stuff here. But for this, now I didn't unlock everything. Now as you keep going through the game, you unlock the different cars through the various coins that you'll collect through the tracks. And as you keep going to the championships, the values of the... of the different vehicles will become more and more. For this, you had a bulldozer. A digger, which I haven't unlocked yet, a rolled roller, cement truck, a combine harvester, and the dump truck. Which wound up being the boss for this. So now let's go to service sprint. And I have no idea what to expect. Oh, I remember this. Uh, from the old Micro Machines days. Remember that pool table gave me nightmares. Playroom battle, and then here's our boss, the big break. Which is a big rig. So let's start it off then. We have our first event, which is Escape. And you'll see in a moment here what that's all about. And here's the various trucks we could use. So obviously I didn't unlock anything yet. Because I haven't unlocked this championship. Oh, what we got here? We have a tow truck. A garbage truck. An ice cream van. A milk float. <laughs> A snowplow and the big rig, which is going to be the boss, so I can't unlock that. So let's see. Let's look at the stats here. Wow, that's really fast. And stats for you. Is that the same? A little bit better. I think that's better hand. Yeah, that's better handling. That's not as good. A little less handling, but not as weighty. A little bit slow, less handling. And then this, which is... Yeah, I think we're going to go with the snowplow. That seems like maybe my best bet. Yep, buy that. So there we go. Now I got my snowplow. And I can also customize the coloring too if I want to. They give you a choice of uh, three layers of color. So that's going to color my plow in the front. Let's make this a nice shade of... Let's Maybe gray. What about yellow? Uh, how about green? Uh, 
make that white. No, how about black? Yeah, I like that. Or should I go with yellow? Or purple? Uh, no, we'll go with black. There we go, perfect. So let's get her going, shall we? Alright, so you see that blue field right behind me? I have to escape from that. Let's go. Oh boy. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh man, this thing is fast! Yeah, well, another thing I like about this game is the gradual increase in difficulty that it does give you. Uh, like, the first championship is pretty easy. You can complete that with no problem. The second one as well. Uh, the third one, the one I just completed, that one's a little bit more challenging. You're not going to three-star everything on that unless you really, really try and you keep going back. This is just nuts. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh, they yeah, that I just blew it. So, I don't even think I got a star for that one. Oh, I got one star. I could have went farther, too. That was hard. Yeah, and of course, with the later championships, they're all different classes of vehicles that you'll be able to uh, unlock. Go ranging from tanks, patrol vehicles, I think, muscle cars, race cars. It's a very cool game. I can't wait to unlock some of the later stuff. So, we see Countdown. I don't remember what countdown exactly is. So let's see what we got here. Oh, another thing too. Oh, I gotta collect clocks. But another thing too, I just found this out recently, um, is that I could use my Xbox One controller on my PC, which, if you're playing this game, I think it's necessary that you use a control pad. I don't think you'll be able to just play this with a keyboard. I can't imagine playing this with a keyboard. Oh, so what do I got to do? Okay. Obviously, I have to keep... I guess I got to try... Okay, I got to increase the time. So that way I can get this, uh, this certain number of stars. Oh, I'm missing all the clocks, too. So did I three star it? No, I got two star it. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, you also got a variety of weapons as well. Uh, you just saw that one. That was a hammer. Or a mallet. You should be able to, you know, I think you could figure that one out. You also got a little Tommy gun. Uh, mines. Like electricity. Uh, it's like EMP to knock out different cars. Not really in these races, though. That's a cool level. I got a bunch of tow trucks. Oh, and they got the mines. He's got. Let's see if he tries to grab me. Oh, magnet. There we go. Ah, oh, I can't grab him. Yeah, all the items come from those little presents that you see. Oh, oh. And the controls are very good, very tight. I mean, cars that are supposed to feel a little floaty do feel floaty, and cars that are supposed to feel tight will feel tight. Uh, uh. Almost. Almost. Oh, I flew. I don't know how. Third lap. I used to love micro machines when I was a kid. I had the original NES. Well, actually, no, I didn't have it. It was actually my grandparents. But that was such a fun game. I would play that game constantly. The only thing I didn't like about it is since it was an NES game, there was no save feature. Which means I can never keep any of the cars that I unlocked. Which really sucked. Alright, so that is another one down. Now, Overtake. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna have to overtake different vehicles on the track. Looks like we are back on the pool table, which is now blue. Oh, another thing too. If you don't have a weapon active, you get to use a little horn. 
Oh, yes, I remember that. And then we pop out. Yep, there we go. <laughs> and that truck was moving. That was pretty funny. Now, also, another thing, you see all these coins. This is how I do buy all the other cars. Obviously. Which is nice. A lot of games nowadays seem want you to use actual money in order to unlock stuff. Especially PC games. But not this one. Which is why I like it. You just unlock... You, It's old school. You unlock stuff as you go. Now, I do hope they come out maybe with some DLC. You know, if the game takes off. Which, it, this let's face it. This is not going to be a game of the year winner. Or it's not going to be an extremely popular game. So this is more for a niche crowd. But it's, it's a fun little distraction. And I really, really enjoy it. It brings me back to my childhood. Oh, wow. Did I get silver? Oh, I did get silver. I'm not even paying attention to the laps. Damn. Okay, so now that one's done. Got one more before the boss. So let's see, should I unlock another vehicle? Nah, I, I'm kind of liking the snowplow. I'll keep that. Playroom battles. Now we got some plastic army man. That's another game they should bring back. Like, properly. I used to remember playing the old Army Men Sarge's Heroes on the N64. And that was a lot of fun. I used to play that game all the time. Yeah, so... Oh, wow, what's with all those lines? So, yeah, that's one game they should definitely bring back. Oh! And of course, the rotor wash from the helicopter knocks me around. I like the camera too. I like how the camera sort of anticipates the turns, so that way you don't you could see what's coming up, especially from this top-down perspective. Oh, wow! He just went flying. No, no, I'm going flying. Oh my God! Really? Wow. First place the entire time, and at the last moment, it just goes all to hell. Wow. Oh, man. Well, whatever. <laughs> Can I at least play the boss? Yeah, let's just go right to the boss. Oh, we're gonna, of course, we're going to the pool table. Surprise, surprise. Now, Elimination. Micro Machines fans will definitely recognize what this is. What you have to do is get ahead of your opponent. Oh. Well, okay. That was interesting. What you have to do is get ahead of your opponent until he's off the screen. So that way you could score a point. And this is going to be real interesting, I can already tell. Oh. oh, I do have a boost. There we go. Just like that. So he couldn't... You couldn't see him on the track anymore, so there I gain a point. Uh-oh. And that almost hit me. Maybe that'll give me an advantage? No, of course not. Yeah, but that would. Got him with two mines there. Now he's got a magnet, so with the magnet, if I get in front of him, he'll be able to lock on to me and come up to my position. Oh, never mind. So you see that the scorecards on the top, one more, and then I defeat the boss, and I unlock his big rig. Well, let's see if I can do that. And I think, yep, there we go, and I did it. So I 
defeated the boss. And now I gain his truck. And that's going to do it for Toy Box Turbos. A really, really nice spiritual successor to Micro Machines, and a game I definitely recommend picking up if you like the top-down racer. But if you want to see more of this game on my channel, please feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you like the video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to stay up to date with my most recent video playthroughs, uh, feel free to subscribe today as well. And also while you're there, check out my channel for other videos that I have done. And as always, I will see you guys later.